In the next two videos, we'll be creating the horizontal and vertical geometry for our road. We'll be creating a string type called a super alignment to do this, because a super alignment has the most extensive capabilities out of all the string types in 12D to conduct reference string design. Reference strings as super alignments are not only used for roads, but they can also be used for railways, tunnels, waterways, and basically any design element that runs along an alignment. To create the super alignment, we'll select strings, super alignments, create super alignment. Before we create either the horizontal or vertical geometry, we need to first set the properties of the super alignment, which we do in this panel. Under the general node, we'll select a name for our super alignment, which is aligned with our naming convention. Within our naming convention, reference strings start with RS. So I'll name the super alignment RS1. Then press enter, which will fill out the model, color, line style, and weight, which are set within the naming convention. Now I'm not gonna go through all of the properties you can change in all of these other nodes down the left side. We'll just change the properties under one more node, the label node. If you're interested, you can go through the other properties and the other nodes in your own time. Uh, in the label node, we can change the label style for the super alignment. These are the labels that are going to be displayed in the plan view. I'm going to apply the label style full. And add a major interval of 10 meters. Then select create. This will bring up the super alignment edit toolbar which I'll pull down into the view space. And using these tools, we'll create the horizontal and vertical geometries. Now there are two main methods we can use to create this geometry, the IP method or the element method. We'll be using the IP method in this course. However, the element method is more advanced. And if you're interested in learning about that too, we'll provide some additional learning resources for you. When creating the super alignment, we create the horizontal geometry first. That way we can then inspect the ground tin along that horizontal alignment to then assign the vertical geometry. So to create our first horizontal intersection point or HIP, I'll hold down the first icon on the super alignment edit toolbar, which is used for adding or removing IPs. Then selecting the first icon, which is append HIP. Now when I move my cursor across the plan view, you'll see I am placing the first HIP. And you can see the labels there are ready to be created too. Now if we move to the northeast of our site, you can see that when this intersecting road was built, they were nice enough to construct a stub road for us to match into. So we want to begin our road center line at the start of this stub road. To do that, you can just left click near the intersection. And you'll see the surveyed stub road is highlighted and we get the diamond snap, which means we've selected the vertex and the start of the road. So then middle mouse click to accept. And we've placed our first HIP. Now in the getting started for design manual on page 122, we have some exact coordinates that we need to input for our next two HIPs. Uh, to place HIPs at exact coordinates, we can just start typing to bring up the typed input panel. Because the X coordinate of our second HIP starts with a four, we'll press four and the typed input panel opens. In this panel, we type the X coordinate and the Y coordinate with a space in between, and the Z coordinate is optional. So I'll continue typing in 42697.941, space 37350.926, and then press enter. This will place the second HIP at this X and Y location. Then again, we start typing to place the third HIP, 
552.804 space 37099.542 and enter. Which will place the third HIP. And then towards the south of our site, we'll again pick the end of the stub road. And middle mouse click to accept. Then because we've placed all the HIPs we want, press escape to end the append HIP feature. And what we have left to do is add the horizontal curves to these HIPs. So to add these, I'll hold down the second icon on the super alignment edit toolbar, which is for moving or editing existing IPs, and select change curve, which is four from the bottom. So this one here, release the click. I'll then pick and accept our HIP number two. Pick and accept. Type in a radius of 200 meters and enter. Then pick and accept HIP number three and type in a radius of 100 meters and enter. And we've completed the horizontal geometry of the road. If you do want to close the super alignment edit the toolbar, you can select the last tick icon then select yes to finish editing the string, but I'll select cancel to continue with the vertical geometry.